Morning everyone, it's Mark here, Techie Golfer. So I just wanted to give you a quick update because I had my second competition over the weekend and it was a winter Stableford uh, single competition um, and I am still buzzing from it now. So I scored 40 points, uh, which was uh, got me into third place. So I actually won a little prize, which I was really pleased about for my second competition, which was awesome. But I just wanted to share some of the things that I actually learned about playing in competitions at golf clubs. Because I think, I don't know about everyone else, but I was a little bit nervous about playing in competitions. Uh, am I going to do everything correctly? Am I going to get the scoring right, etc. And I wanted to just talk you through what I learned, just to try and perhaps put some of your fears at ease and get you to have a go one, because I really enjoyed it. I wanted to just to share these things with you. So my first fear was sort of like the scorecard. Um, and obviously I would have to score. How do you score? Do you score yourself? Do you score someone else? How do you fill in the scorecard? It was something that um, I don't think making me nervous was the right thing, but was just making me a little bit hesitant. So I just thought I wanted to share with you what I have actually learned about this process. So this is an example of the scorecard that we have at Pleasanton Golf Club. Um, it's fairly standard, they all look the same. This is actually the scorecard that I used, well it's not the actual scorecard that I used on the day, but it is a copy of the scorecard that I used on the day, because obviously I handed that one in. And I just wanted to talk you through uh, what happens. Now the bits at the top here, this is where the competition name has been put. Uh, the date and the time, which is fairly straightforward, and then the player's name, obviously that's me, and then the handicap goes in the top. Now the, they actually do this for you in the pro shop, so all this top bit is actually filled in for you. You don't actually need to fill it in uh, yourself and then you tick over here which tees that you're playing off. And then the scorecard is essentially split into two places. So this is your scorecard that you get given uh, from the pros in the pro shop. And then as you go on to the first tee, you'll, you'll meet your playing partners. And then what you do is you swap cards. So I then give my card to my playing partner and they give me their card. So I'm marking their score, and they're marking my score. That's how the scoring works. Now what you'll also see is that on the column on the left here, there is a column called the markers score. So imagine that I've got my playing partner's card in my hand and I'm marking their score, and I'll mark their score in column A because their name is next to column A, uh, next to A over here. But in the markers score is where I mark my own score um, because I'm the marker. And I want to mark my own score because then I can compare it with what they have written on, on my card so I can check that they've got it correctly, obviously. Now, the reason why it looks slightly different on this card is because we've got this sort of slash between it. And you don't have to do it like this, you can do it as you want. But this was Stableford scoring. So if you don't know, Stableford scoring is where if you get a bogey to your handicap, so if my handicap is 17, then I'm going to get a shot on every hole except the easiest hole. So the first here at Pleasanton is not the easiest hole, it's the fifth hardest hole. So I definitely get a shot on that one. So for me, to get a par is a five, because it's, it's a par four. Um, so therefore, uh, for Stableford scoring, if you get a bogey, you get a point, if you get a par, you get two, if you get a birdie, you get three, and anything else, you get four. So in here, I've just been writing down um, the, 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 the uh, net score that they got. Is it the net score or the gross score? Sorry, the gross score they got. That's how many shots they did the hole in. So in this case, the hole was done in five. And then the bit at the bottom here tells me how many Stableford points that equates to. So uh, because I play off 17, this was a par five for me almost. So I get two points because I got a par on it, so that's, the, that's, that's the case. Sorry, this is actually my uh, playing partner score, this is my score. So I got a four on Saturday, which means that it was a birdie for me, so I got three Stableford points. And then all you do is you add the Stableford points up and then you just jot it down in the corner here. And then at the bottom, you've both to sign the card. So the marker signature is the person that did the scoring, so it would be my playing partner in this case, and the player signature, obviously my signature. Uh, you sign, sign it there as well. Now some courses you would then go into the clubhouse and enter this onto the computer. As it's winter and this is non-qualifying for handicap purposes, you don't, we didn't have to do that. But what there was, there was like a box on the side in the clubhouse and depending on how many points you got, you put it into a different slot in the box and then that just makes it easy for them to count up the scores and who's the, who's the winners. And, and that was it really, it's really quite straightforward. So that was one of my fears sort of. Uh, removed and got away, which is good. So if you're struggling to understand how to score, no one ever tells you this on the television, um, how, you, how the players actually do the scoring. That's how they do it. And if you've seen them on the TV, they then go into the scorer's hut, and that's where they then swap their cards with each other back again. They check their scores, that they've, they've marked them down correctly, and then they sign for the, for the score. Once you've signed the card there, you've signed for the score, you can't then go back and correct it. So you need to check before you sign it 
that it was marked correctly, of course. And I think uh, for the pro tournaments you see on the telly, the scorecards are slightly different. They can tear off the bit that's the marker score and then they can keep that bit themselves and so on, so that's a bit different. But yeah, I had a really, really good time on Saturday. I really enjoyed the competition. So if you've not had a go at a competition at your club, I'd really urge you to give it a shot. It's really good fun. Um, I played with some really nice guys, some good playing partners. So thanks to them for sort of uh, showing me the ropes as well, which was great. Um, so have you played any competitions? Uh, let me know if it's your first competition or are you sort of a seasoned rookie, you know exactly what you're doing. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, and until next time, I will catch you later.